Let's take a closer look at some of the updates F1 teams bring to Imola. Imola is the first European race this year and traditionally teams bring update packages here because their factories are not too far away. But this year new flexi ring regulations will be introduced in Barcelona and so some teams still wait with bigger updates. In this last season of the current regulations, teams try to get more stable downforce in all situations, to make the cars more drivable and especially to improve tire management during the race. So let's take a look at what teams brought to the track. Ferrari waits until Barcelona when the new flexi wing regulations are introduced. They carried over a wing assembly from last year which provides more downforce for Imola. Mercedes revised their nose slightly and front suspension covers. In this area F1 cars have lots of upwash and if the suspension cladding is not aligned properly, the flow can separate, so create turbulences which travel downstream and could hit downforce producing parts at the back. So by pulling the cover's trailing edge up, they can avoid separations in a wider range of conditions and hence have more stable downforce. McLaren's updates concentrate on qualifying. They made slight changes to front axle and have a high downforce beam and rear wing especially for Imola. Red Bull changed their side port inlet and side port shape and have a vein underneath the inlet now. Furthermore, they made slight changes to rear corner and rear suspension covers. Aston Martin, again, brings a huge update with a new floor, new halo vanes, new engine cover to fit the new floor and, quite interesting, while everybody else increases downforce level for Imola, Aston Martin reduces their beam wing angle, probably for more stable downforce, so to avoid separations under braking, for example. Also Haas brings a new floor with different expansion rate. They also have a new rear corner and new suspension covers to adapt. So most updates are smaller changes to make the cars more drivable with more reliable downforce. So let me know who is your favorite for this weekend. And if you want to work in F1 as well, check out my online courses with the links below which prepare you for a career. See you at the next one.